Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This time I want to show you how to calculate basically any element volume. Mm, the thing for which I did create this script is I wanted to help uh, some colleague with uh, quantities about the concrete. And for me it was strange that for stairs uh, there is not volume parameter. But actually with basically this node over here you can grab any geometry from Revit to Dynamo and then in Dynamo you can calculate the volume. Um, so we have a couple of stairs over here. This is Autodesk sample project. Uh, I opened my script and okay now we need to calculate uh, what is the volume either for all stairs or just for some of them. Uh, two options when we want to select elements, either you will use this select model elements or I created a small Python uh, script uh, that will, uh, when you click run, automatically go to the pick objects mode and then I can select uh, elements. With this one I would need to either open Dynamo, then to click select to select or declare this as an input and then go to the Dynamo player, add it, then click on select. This is uh, this is one or two steps faster. Uh, same for output. Uh, you will see uh, the total volume over here, but also I did create a small uh, like pop-up window that will show what is the total uh, quantity of concrete or whatever you are calculating. That is it. Let's and yes, what is very important for calculation, even uh, we have as a project units over here units for the volume. For some reason, if I put for length over here millimeters, Dynamo will calculate everything in a cubic millimeters. So it will follow length as unit. So when you click run, and for example, I will select those stairs over here, click finish. It will take some time for Dynamo to process geometry. And if you have a lot of elements, it will take maybe a minute or, or more. So this Python will show uh, this message. We can either copy this value over here, or we can just say OK. Um, and we did have some crazy number because we did have over here millimeters but if we switch to meters and now we want to run the script again I will close it and open again run let's go with the same stairs just for you to see that the result will be basically the same so it's 18.81 and yes you can send to clipboard and if we open Notepad or something, Control V, you will see that uh, this window over here did copy the value. Uh, regarding the script, so uh, we did pick up some elements or selected with this node over here. Uh, we want to convert elements to solid. Uh, we want to flatten that list. Uh, we want to use this is the native node all of those are native Revit or Dynamo nodes uh, to find the volume and at the end we do not want maybe you want but I would like to see the total volume so we have this sum and again you can stop here or you will have some Python code that will show that in some form or maybe export to Excel or whatever. And this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.